All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division battle. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized the major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, withstand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. You gotta say, Justin Gaethje Unreal. back from more time. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at rage, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. The lightweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Anime Pizzia! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like to the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Gaethje gets hit with a kick. 
Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, it's about as appropriate a nickname as we have in MMA. The highlight, Justin Gaethje, and he has found his range early tonight. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get oh, heavy on his leg. He told us he was going to achieve it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Collar tie now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving. and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Sit right here. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. from that previous round, DC, and those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming, and that's really confusing as a ball. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. How about that chin? And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at that leg. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, he heard a bell oh, jab. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you're starting to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression, right at the point. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Gaethje gets caught by the inside leg kick. Just out of range with that left hook. And he landed the right hand there. Hands higher, hands higher. Sound defense there as he blocks the, the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Fight goes on. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Nice straight punch. 
Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Seconds to go in the round. Round two next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Good. Big kick lands. Oh, he hurt. He's, oh. Hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 45 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by TKO, Justin the Highlight Gage. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and the judges were looking at their phones. It's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt. Found the follow-up shot. And he got the finish.